Hi, this is Gareth Kentish and today's video is about showing you how to create a structure to your web page so you can decide exactly where to place your banners, images and text onto the page itself. And you can see in front of you, I've drawn up a table, if you like, which helps me structure the next web page that I'm going to create. And you'll notice that I've got three columns and four rows. So I'll just draw the columns for you here. And going across, of course, I've got my, my rows, four rows. And what I've also done is I've merged the cell in the middle here so that I can have a nice big portion of text. That's how I want my page to look. Now the question is, is how do I create this structure in my web page? Well, the answer is to use a HTML editor and create that table first and then drop it into your WordPress environment. So let's first go to the HTML editor, flick over here, and create the table itself. So I just click on table, insert table. I'm going to have three columns across, and then I'm going to have four rows deep. So there's the basic structure of the table. And if I remember rightly, I wanted to merge the top column, top top row I should say, so I'll just join those together and then I wanted to merge that as well, done that and I think if I remember rightly this was also merged here. So now I've created the structure exactly how I want that to look in the web page. Now you'll notice I've also got borders shown here so I can actually take those borders out just by going to table properties and putting in a zero in here where it says border. I'll just go OK here and you'll notice now that the borders are now highlighted in a dotted red line which means that they won't show up on the web page itself. And I can change the size of the columns just by moving these tabs along the top here like so. A little bit fiddly, but you can see what I'm getting at. Okay, so now what I need to do is to grab the code that creates this table. So let's go to source down the bottom here. And there's the code. Techno babble, but I don't need to know much about that. I've just highlighted it all in blue. Control C to put that into computer memory. I now need to go to my WordPress environment. So let's do that. I'm there in my WordPress environment and what I need to do is to go into text here and then drop that code that I saved in computer memory. I'll go control V, there's the text, go to visual and it should now create that table. There it is, you can see it. I'll just get rid of some of the spaces here and now I can add text images in the spaces that I've created in that table. I hope this has been help helpful. My name's Gareth Kentish and thanks again for watching.